Hey everybody, Be Marie checking in. Today is, uh, what's today? October 5th, 2011, and I'm checking in. I'm going to do this Sacred Heart Detox. I'm having a very, very, very hard time with my bathroom issues. And so, with that, this is an uh, excellent detox. I have gained about uh, eight and a half pounds since my last post. I was 162 and now I'm rocking 170.8. Yeah, uh huh. So, with this, it says that you should lose approximately 10 to 17 pounds in seven days. And I'm really not doing it for weight loss purposes because with me exercising and stuff, I know I can get that back down. I gotta quit eating that dog on peanut butter. I didn't became really addicted to peanut butter. But um, I really need to focus on getting my digestive system in order because me not going is not cool at all. So, with that being said, I just left Walmart. See my loom receipt. And I got all the stuff I need to get for my Sacred Heart Detox. Um, um, today is my first day doing this Sacred Heart Medical Diet. Um... The reason for me doing it is this is supposed to be a detox and from the uh, instructions it says this seven day eating plan can be used as often as you like. If followed correctly it will clean out your system of impurities and give you a feeling of well-being after only seven days of this process. You will begin to feel lighter by at least 10 pounds possibly 17 pounds and experience an abundance of energy. Well. If you don't know me, I'm V Marie and I did HCG, which I love and recommend. However, I have been um, going through a craving thing and I'm my husband wanted me to check my sugar. I'm kind of nervous and I know I probably need to. Um, my doctor last year or the year before, I can't even remember, I think it was last summer, um, he wanted me to lose weight. and actually my A1Cs were really high and they wanted to put me on insulin to control the um, diabetic symptoms. Well, I did HCG and um, everything cleared up. I mean, everything, cholesterol, weight, everything, everything, everything. So, above any protocol, plan, or diet, I always recommend HCG. Now, I've gained about 8 I have to get on the scale, so I'll correct this in a minute. But it's between 8 and 10 pounds. When I ended, I was 162. And I think 162.4. And so, yesterday when I got on the scale, I had hit 170. And so, I haven't got on the scale yet this morning. So, I'm going to get on the scale. Because yesterday, me and my husband had a movie night. And I tripped out. So, we'll see what happens. So anyway, today is the first day, and today on day one of the Sacred Heart Diet, um, you can eat any fruit except bananas. Cantaloupes and watermelons are lower in calories than most other fruits. Eat only soup and fruits today. So what I did is I made a big pot of course, it's the one that showed me this diet and um and I'm not really doing it for diet diet purposes. I have a problem with my digestive system and I'm usually full of you know. So I don't go like normal people go. So I need to be cleaned out because I don't want to go get a colonics. I want to do something a little natural. I don't want to take any laxatives. I don't want to drink any tea. And it's been a few days since I've really had a good one since I've had anyone, I should say, and it's been about um, before Tom, which was before the 30th of last month, I had a good one. So, needless to say, I am very full of crap at this point. And if this works, since I know my body, um, if this works and keep, keep me regular, and I don't get stopped up by the end of this month, then... I'll be good. But if I start to see my digestive system decline and meaning that I'm not going, I'm going to do this every month during time. Since I'm already feeling yucky, I might as well feel yucky and feel lighter at the same time. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I want to give a shout out. She don't know me. I just signed on to her page. Her name is Diana 
and um I'm going to give her some props because this girl she actually went through the um lap band procedure lost some weight but she been doing this sacred heart thing for over um I guess I want to say about a year off and on off and on and she's been rocking it and she's really motivating and encouraging and it was one thing that she said on one of her videos was um uh <laughs> she said quit making up excuses don't don't try to justify why you cheat she was like you cheat you cheated own up to it own up to it and so I'm on up to the way I've been binging too because me and peanut butter I've been falling in love with peanut butter and um you know my di I know my digestive system and I know what makes me gain weight and I know that I shouldn't eat certain things and I don't want to do HCG to lose 10 pounds I don't want to do HCG just because I'm going. Oh, I'm going to just start eating and just act a fool and gain my weight because I know I have HCG. No, HCG has really reset my body because I should be a lot bigger than what I am. It took because um, the way I've been eating, I've been just like really pigging out, and I can blame it on my digestive system. I can blame it on the tapeworm, which I probably don't have, but I can make up a reason why. Um, I'm doing what I'm doing, but the point, the whole point of it is, I'm doing it because I want to. I'm not showing self-control, so I am taking ownership of um, the the way my body is working because I know I should have been eating more fruits and vegetables. I know that once I finish uh, P4 and ma my maintenance stage, I should have continued eating a lot more fruits and vegetables, and I shouldn't have been eating all that doggone peanut butter. And I'm not even talking about peanut butter and jelly. I'm talking about a whole thing of peanut butter. I'm talking about when I go to Sam's Club, I get three jars of peanut butter. I get the the two pack because they come two pack, right? So I get one two pack for my kids because they like some of them like creamy. Then I get the other two pack for my other kid. He likes chunky. Then I get another two pack. But guess what? One of the two of the two pack go in my bedroom. Why? Because when I sit there and watch soap opera, I eat the dog on peanut butter. That ain't natural. It ain't nobody's fault but man. So I'm taking ownership of it. That got to stop. I don't want to be constipated. I don't want to have to rely on, um, you know, chemicals. I was going, like, taking citrate magnesium every other week. And in the uh, we, we, every other week that I wasn't taking the citrate magnesium, I was drinking the tea. That's not natural. Shouldn't be doing that. Shouldn't be putting them chemicals in my body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rock this. Um, I'm already claiming this seven days is going to be successful and my system is going to flush out. So to make a long story short, you're going to, if you want, you can follow me on these seven days. Um, and it's called the Sacred Heart Medical Diet. And um, that's you that. you around about, about my day on the Sacred Heart um, Diet or Detox, however you want to call it. First, I want to say thank you so much to Wanda for showing, telling me about this. That's my baby mama, if y'all don't know. And thank you, Miss Diana, um, for just keeping it real on your vlogs. And I want to say, uh, give a shout out to Alexis. She just joined the HCG family. She was mixing her stuff tonight. Yay! Her low day is tomorrow and Saturday. Her first very low calorie day is going to be on Sunday. So I'll check in with her and keep you guys posted how she's doing. As for me, let me tell you what my goal is. My eights are tight. I have to <gasps> hold my breath in to put them up and um, fasten them. I want to be able to comfortably put them on. Um, my goal is um, to get rid of this excess stuff that's in me. I told y'all earlier I'm full of mm. And um, thus far today, I ate clean. And I've been to the bathroom. It's probably too much information. But I've been going. And it's been good. And um, I drank 120 ounces of water today. I ate a big bowl of soup. I ate soup all day. And then I had um, fruit. And I had so much fruit. I had cantaloupe and watermelon and honeydew and grapes. The green and the red. Apples. Um... What else? Apples and plums. And I had made it a big fruit salad. I let it fall. So, you guys saw the picture. That's what I had. And right now, I'm starting to get hungry. But because it is 9.35 p.m., I'm getting ready to upload this video and go to bed. I don't want to eat this late at night. So, I'm going to brush my teeth um, to help with that you know, craving thing. And then I'm going to... Um, Call it a night. Give me some rest and start it all over tomorrow.